April 1 is said to be a fool's day for most people. Five counts. Five, four, three, two. And ito po yung parents nyo. Pwede kayong sunduhin. Pauwi. One. Take heart. On this day, 350 young men and women gave up their social lives for a more serious, tougher, and life-changing mission. Ang reception rights is part of the new cadet training. It is uh, always done during April 1st of each year. During reception rights, they will be given series of uh, physical exercises. Sisigawan po sila. So during that reception rights, uh, dyan po mabibreak yung spirit nila. Dyan po madidetermine kung talagang willing talaga, talaga silang uh, i-continue yung training. Traditionally, the first day of April is reserved for the reception of new PMA cadets. Part of the selection process already means serious business. Uh, this year, during the 2014 PMA entrance examination, mayroon tayong nag-apply na 18,188. And out of that 18,188 who applied for the entrance examination, 11,811 lang ang nag undertook the exam. And then, out of that number, 1,189 passed the exam. And then, after that, yung meron tayong tinatawag na complete physical examination to determine the readiness of their body, the medically and physically. So, 874 ang nag-take noon. And then, out of that 874, 350 ngayon na nandito ngayon na new cadet. Families, too, have their own formation as they gave utmost support to their children. Uh, napagbigyan na po namin kayo, makasama sila. Uh, katapos po po namin sila kausapin. Hindi na po namin mula para lapitin sa inyo ngayon. It's goodbye, friends and families for now. Kailangan din namin malayo sa pamilya namin. So yun yung tingin ko, yun yung mahirap na part ng training. It's also goodbye to long and shiny hair as in exchange for military training uniforms. Um, Nag-exam po mama ko, August 2013 po. At that time, I'm 16 years old pa lang po ako. Walk-in applicant lang po ako. Kasi yung may dalang, may dalang lang po ma'am ako ng mga forms ko. Tapos din ko na rin po ma'am pinrases. Tapos ma'am, nung July 2014 po, pinadalhan po ako ng order na magre-report po kami ng VILUNA for CTE po. Another process din po ma'am siya ng selection po. Para may filter po kasi sino po yung physically, mentally, and other variation po na kailangan po yung ma'am. After po neto, maglilinis lang po ng kaunti, and then aalis na po kami. At the strike of midnight, all 350 applicants who rocked the PMA test boarded the bus. Eight ourselves, and rolled to Fort Gregorio del Pilar in Baguio City. It could be a well-earned privilege trip indeed. But please be reminded, that this is only the beginning of a long journey. Ang batting average ng nakakapagtapos ng kurso, sad to say, but is 50% only. But we are hopeful that this year will be a good one. Sana makapagtapos sila by 2019 lahat. It's the break of a new day here in Baguio City. New life awaits the new batch of PMA cadets. As they enter the gate of their new home, the words loyalty, integrity, and trust greeted them with a smile. These traits should flow in their veins if they want to live and stay here for four years. Yun training namin inside the academy is, nagtitraining tayo ng individual from his intelligence. Dito-test po natin yung academics in terms of academics physical and especially yung character po, which is the most precious thing that the academy that can provide to the individual. Everything will be well provided so they could fully concentrate on the training 
One aspire for cadetship in PMA because they want to serve the country, first of all. This institution gives a free four-year education and while you are studying here, you are receiving a monthly salary which will be used during your training. Sa akin po, kung di ko po i-grab yung opportunity na pumasa sa PMAs, hindi po makagraduate ng college due to financial reasons. So, I just grabbed the opportunity to have a general education. But nothing comes easy. A cadet must abide with the strict rules and regulations. The expectation for the new batch of training cadets, most of all, is to graduate from the original class. Of course, they are paid to study. Mm -hmm. So, they must study well. At least, mayroon silang uh, matatapos nila yung four year stay nila dito sa academy. Training begins here at the grounds of Fort Gregorio del Pilar. An unwritten warning knocked on their hearts. Don't expect a warm welcome. One of the cadets whose heart was pounding that day was Joshua. A proud Igorot. In his hometown, the locals have the highest respect for PMAers, and this aspired him to try out for the 2015 PMA exams. Maganda po yung feeling na makasama sa 350 na cadets out of 20,000 na pumasok. So brown proud po sa sarili na alam ko na kaya to. Ako po yung first na magkakadete sa family namin. Tapos sa mga occasions, mga pagtitipon po. Sinasabi po talaga ng family ko na nagkakadete yung anak nila. With determination and pride, he is willing to expect the unexpected in the PMA reception. Pag nakikita po sa SM, sa SM Baguio po, yung mga kadete na nagbe-break, mataas po yung tingin ng mga tao sa mga nagkakadete. Nakaka-inspire po na someday ako, pupunta rin ako ng SM tapos mataas yung tingin sa akin. This will be the start. So I'll give you five pounds. Kung sino sa inyo ang gusto mag-resign, ngayon na. After the ceremony comes, the much-awaited handover. Five pounds. Five. Four. It's for the real deal. Three. Two. And ito po yung parents nyo. Pwede kayong sunduhin. Pauwi. One. Second class men. Take charge. Command officers rush toward the new recruits. Okay, cadets. Let's get ready to rumble. Up next, training. 350 young men and women stood still, baked under the scorching heat. The first day of military training marked the beginning of what could be a challenging life inside PMA. Pipilit din naman kasi from civilian life, di ba? Bigla kang pagdating dito, sisigawan ka, kung ano-ano mga physical exercises, papagawa sa'yo, hindi mo naman na na-experience sa labas. So talagang, talagang masasyak ka talaga. Rules are set, and each and everyone should follow without questioning. Itong pre-cadet ship training na to is a four-day orientation given to the new cadets para ma-inculcate nila or ma-orient sila sa mga rules and regulations of the cadet corps before they will be formally received sa April 1. Meron po akong funny experience during the reception po namin. Uh, when yung upper class po is tumatakbo na papunta po sa amin, yung katabi ko po eh hinihila po ako paano. Patakbo na rin po, manis na daw po kami sabi niya. Pero um, yun nga po, naabutan ko yung upper class and then nag-exercise pa. The main point is to develop discipline and obedience the hard way. After three years, masabi ko sa sarili ko na ang training sa PMA is systematic and progressive. Systematic siya kasi lahat ng bagay dito is in order. Lahat ay pinag-aralan, lahat ay napagdana na ng maraming upper class. Then progressive siya kasi hindi kami nagsimula sa mahirap na agad. Simula kami sa basic, sa, sa mababang repetition muna. Nagsimula kami sa yung bagay lang na kaya namin na as a civilian kaya namin. Then, through the efforts of our upperclassmen and, our, and the, of some officers, we continue to grow, to change, para magawa namin yung mga bagay na hindi namin nagawa na as a civilian. 
Once the training starts, giving up should never be an option. Pagpala sa reception rights, nagkikwit na sila. Kumbaga, nagbo-volunteer na sila kaagad na mag-quit. Then, mag-resign sila, mag-resign sila. Kakausapin muna namin talaga kung talagang ano, kasi baka nabigla lang sila. Talagang ika-counsel muna namin sila. Bibigyan namin sila ng due process para magpasya talaga kung kung talagang gusto niya mag-quit. Kasi sayang yung islat eh. Mahirap kasi mag-recruit uh, mag ulit ng panibago. Cadet Lee is another determined recruit aspiring to serve the country. Siyempre ma'am, proud po ako sa sarili ko and masaya. Kasi ma'am, sa lahat po ma'am ng napakarami pong nag-aspire, sa napakarami pong youth na pumila para po matanggap sa PMA. Isa po mama ko sa mapalad na napasama po sa 350 na kota po ng PMA. Her sister is also a PMA graduate. The enormous discipline her sister acquired from the training inspired the young Lee to march the same path. My sister being the eldest po, um, na, mayroon na po siyang qualities of being a leader po siguro. Pero pagpasok mam po niya dito, na-improve po mam lahat yung pagiging leader niya, yung buong personality po ng sister ko na-improve po. Each one of them should develop a never-say-die attitude. Ang nasaisip ko lang nun ni, gilitulit ko lang inisip yung, ano yung talaga yung goal ko nung pumasok ako. So yung goal ko nun is to, to graduate kahit ano yung mangyari. Kasi alam ko naman hindi naman napapabayaan. Alam, alam ko na wala silang papagawa sa akin na hindi ko kayo. They dreamt and they believed. And that's the core reason why these young men and women are now gathered here. So, sa lahat ng kadete, minsan may point sa buhay namin sa loob ng training na gusto namin sumuko. Pero ulit-ulit babalik kami sa pinakaunang goal namin kung ano talaga yung reason namin pag pumasok kami. Then suddenly, may isip namin na kaya pala namin to. Then hindi namin kailangan sumuko. Yung soak, yung pag-give up, yun yung last option. Ang personal goal yung sa tulungan ko yung family ko. Ma'am, kasi hindi naman po kami mayaman. Uh, mababa lang po yung asawa ng nanay ko. Ma'am, kasi elementary school teacher lang po siya. Tapos yung dad ko, wala po siyang work. So, um, kailangan ko po mag-give back kasi binigay po ng parents ko lahat para lang mapag-aral kami, mapag mabigay yung needs namin. So, pagka-graduate ko man, pagka-graduate ko ma'am, kailangan ako rin po yung mag-give back sa parents ko. Bibigay ko po lahat ng kailangan nila. How they will live and embody the core values of PMA and surpass the training up to graduation is another battle. Uh, aside from the physical body, the academic standing mo, Ma'am yung para sa akin pinakamalaki, ma'am yung puso ma'am. Ma'am kasi kahit isang portion to lang ng puso mo na ayaw niyang pumasok sa PMA, ma'am hindi ka pwedeng pumasok sa PMA. Ma'am kailangan buong puso mong ibigay yung lahat para pumasok sa PMA kasi hindi po pwedeng magkaroon ng doubts, hindi po pwedeng magkaroon ng pag-iisip na baka hindi ko to kaya. Ma'am kailangan laging isipin na lang na kaya ko to, matatapos ko to. Ma'am laging yun yung nasa so, I have to give it my all, give it my best. Kasi yung sarili ko lang naman po yung nakakontrol ko eh. Pag, pag napakita ko sa labas at sa PMA na nagagawa ko lahat, na bibigay ko lahat ng sarili ko, yun na yung improvement na mabibigay ko sa PMA, yung pagbibigay ng lahat ko.